All right, thanks, Michelle. A deal is expected to be signed as soon as this week to resume grain exports from the Ukraine's Black Sea region. But the UN Secretary General has warned there is still work that needs to be done to reach a final agreement. And it's reported the Russian forces are still attacking Ukrainian ports, with the port city of Odessa being struck by seven missiles this week. Ukraine is one of the world's largest exporters of wheat, corn, and sunflower oil, but grain supplies to many countries have been cut off since Russia's invasion of Ukraine began. Now, last month, it estimated Ukraine was only able to move about 1.4 million metric tons of grain, down 43% from the previous year. It's some issue of life and death for many human beings. And the question is that Russia has to de block and allow the Ukrainian grain to be exported. Otherwise, we will have to continue claiming that they are using food as a weapon without any kind of consideration for human beings' life. It has to be said loudly. USAID this week announced food aid for countries in the Horn of Africa, which relies heavily on grain from Ukraine. The agency said it was providing nearly $1.3 billion in aid to support that region where unprecedented drought also means more than 18 million people need humanitarian assistance.